Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for May 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Virgo, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. And we will be using an Archangel Power Tarot card by Radley Valentine. And you did get the Five of Gabriel, which is the same as the Five of Wands. Your first card, Virgo, is the general atmosphere, the basis of the matter. This is the situation at hand. Number one of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Magician. This can be a, German, a Gemini or you as well, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Now, this is creative power, it's intention and will. This is a masculine energy card. This is someone that draws power from above to materialize their desires. That cosmic lemon skate, that sideways figure eight, is a symbol of eternal life, infinite possibilities and dominion, indicating the harmonious interaction of the conscious and the subconscious, idea and feeling, desire and emotion. So it's like the law of attraction there, as above, so below, as within, so without. So remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen and stay focused on your goals. This is a time for creation and beginning and taking on challenges. It's new opportunities. It's a time for action. There's potential in abundance. It's a very important beginning. It's action and changes and new starts and it's favorable for work. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. This is your block to your forward movement. Number 16 of the major arcana, the tower. This can represent a Scorpio or an Aries. Now, um, sometimes a magician also represents an Aries. This is a sudden shock. It's a dramatic change. It's change, conflict, catastrophe. It's an overthrow of an existing way of your life. Your old notions were upset. But this disruption will bring enlightenment in its wake. This is bankruptcy. It's some sort of upheaval in life. It may have been violent or destructive. It releases pent-up emotions. It brings liberation. And you can find a spiritual opportunity within the drama. It's a surprise with a rapid transformation. There probably was a shake, shaky foundation. Maybe you're questioning beliefs. You'll need to build a foundation that is strong. And there's unseen forces at work here. This is being emotionally shaken or physically stricken, shocked out of complacency, stripped of defenses, suddenly exposed or enlightened. Might be falling or failing or losing a secure position, experiencing an injury or a betrayal, detoxifying, driving out obstacles to greater awareness, shaking up the status quo, or angrily confronting. Could be learning the hard way, or releasing pent-up emotions. The magician with the tower card is a talented person that tries to accomplish the near impossible. It's like they're a daredevil. It's making the best of a difficult situation. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Five of Cups, Virgo, water energy, feeling regret, and loss, disappointment. It's dwelling on a painful past. This is a transition. It's those two cups standing that represent what is really important. It's a card of choice. If you continue to brood over what went wrong, or you need to think about how it can be better in the future. It's sadness and mourning and suffering. It's emotional adjustments. There's a feeling of loss and sadness and grief that are at work here. It's the loss of a cherished dream or a love possession. With this loss comes change and an opportunity. Do not run away from your feelings. You've been working for this new beginning for a long time. This is a period of transformation and the start of a new phase in life. You'll need to use courage and determination to find your way out. 
It's being haunted by loss, feeling sadness, and focused on the negative. Something past has flowed on, but something new is waiting for you. So turn around and address new spiritual possibilities and truths. Have faith in the future and turn to the new. The magician with the five of cups is things did not go the way you wanted them to. It's manifestation of an unwanted, confusing situation. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The page of pentacles, Virgo. This can represent you or a message. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This person is fascinated. They're interested. They're full of introspection. This can also be a message or a communication of stability or an offer. It takes time, but it, it's worth the wait. This atti his attitude suggests he desires money. He's goal-oriented. We could be bringing good news about worldly ambitions or an inheritance. It could be a message or a scholarship. This could be a student. They have respect for learning. They move slowly. There is no horse, so it takes longer. This is someone that's practical and cautious. This can represent a new job or a project or a new investment, new studies. This is something that you're focused on. It's turning over a new leaf to the loftier goals, but you're still learning the ropes. This is the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. It's love of material things. It's a good card to start a new business, an opportunity to make money, starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for future growth. This is a trigger point. It's being productive. It could be finding something. It's an unexpected new start. The magician with the page of pentacles can represent an apprentice with advanced skills. There's great potential here. It's learning a new skill and advancing quickly. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number two of cups, water energy. Card of partnerships, union. These can be soulmates, a love match, an attraction. This can be a marriage, a union, a love, a, a strong commitment, especially the beginning of one. There's a deep connection here. It's making plans with a kindred soul. It's the beginning of a prosperous business partnership. It's respect and sharing and harmony and balance. It's emotional support and trust and understanding. It's dealing successfully with strong emotions. This can be a passionate love affair. So take note of your feelings and needs to make a decision and feel the joy in your soul when you're doing something for yourself or others. This is talking things over. It's a letting go or a reconciliation. Shared joy is twice as sweet and shared sorrow is only half as bad. This is a shared bond where wishes and fears are intertwined. It's a commitment to meaningful exchange. The magician with the two of cups is being swept off your feet. It's manifesting the perfect partner. It's romance and friendship combined. The tower with the five of cups is arguments. It could be an event you had no control of that leaves you feeling at a loss or sad. The tower with the page of pentacles is a major sudden change. It's surprising and unexpected. It's a transformation due to a message or a job offer or an investment. The tower with the two of cups represents it's not a good foundation to begin with. Could be crash and burn. It's also love at first sight. The five of cups with the page of pentacles is fear of loss. It's a message about financial connections and being worried about security. The five of cups with the two of cups is being still sad over a loss or a breakup and not seeing a new connection due to the loss. Page of Pentacles with the Two of Cups represents physical attraction and focused on partnership. Your Archangel Power Tarot card by Radley Valentine, the Five of Gabriel, five, uh, air, this is fire energy, same as the Five of Wands, a challenge you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others, 
Have patience with yourself and those around you. You have what it takes to solve this puzzle. You may not have all the pieces just yet, but working with others and finding compromise is the way to come to a peaceful resolution. Some of the interpersonal conflicts and challenges that you're experiencing may very well be reflections of struggles you're having within yourself. Stand back and take a look at the big picture. Listen carefully to others' viewpoints. When you draw this card, it's a recommendation to withdraw from the drama of others if you can do so gracefully. Healthy competition can make you stronger and be very fulfilling. Keep your intention positive and your ethics of the highest caliber. Additional meanings, multiple situations vying for your attention, dramatic people, petty quarrels, and even sporting events. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.